Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. So, it is all going quite well, suspiciously well indeed, has been put in the comments. So yes, I've just about got 25 grand, just shy of $25,000. And I know that obviously over the winter that will dwindle, so I can't go, yeah, I've got 25 grand and sort of spend it all now and, and get rid of it all. Because then winter will come and I'll have no monies. However, I might be able to take advantage of what I think is a bit of a game glitch. Now this might be cheating, some people might consider this as cheating, but I'm going to take every advantage I can get. So, these are two orchards. This orchard, we we got the crops out. We got the apples out, look, harvested crops, perennial plant, dibbly dobbly dobs, all done. We got the uh, apples out there, we sold them all for much money. That's probably where most of our money has come from. This orchard here, we also did. I am fairly confident that we worked on this orchard. I remember commenting on it saying, oh look, they've left one tree behind. I think they left this tree in the corner with loads of apples on, but everything else was all sort of apple-less. But as you can see, there are indeed apple. Oh, hello, there they go. There's an apple right there. Do you know what? I've never really zoomed in on the tree before, but they've actually bothered to model the apples, correctly. Look, they've got the little sort of, the texture on the apples and the, I don't know they are, but the little sort of, the little dots, the sort of little dimples kind of on them. That's quite impressive. Oh, well done them. I like a game with properly modelled apples. That's a good thing. Um, but yeah, this field has now come back. It's come back and it's ready to harvest again. I am fairly sure that I harvested this field before. I'm fairly confident that I did that already. So uh, do you know what? Well, I'm, I'm not going to turn it down. I'm not going to turn that down. So yes, go back and get me some more apples from that place, please. That will do just fine. Yes, accept that. I think everything else is ticking over quite nicely. I think they're just about ready to come out. Yeah, so some tomatoes in there. The pumpkins are growing slowly, but that's fine because they take a while. And those tomatoes are 18 days left. Uh, the vet is on the way to just here. That might well be the vet in his little red pickup truck thing. So the vet is on his way to there to cure the cows. Uh, there's not many cows in there. We could do the inseminator back in there. And we've got various bits and bobs to sell. So we're keeping hold of the pumpkins. Keeping hold of the pumpkins until the market picks up the pumpkins. So we don't have much in the way of um, much in the way of, of money for pumpkins at the minute. Yeah, it's not e um, Would that be about two two dollars per pumpkin? Whereas if it could go up to say two twenty or two thirty or something, that would be much better. That would be far better because then I can make more money off it and survive a little bit longer through the winter. The winter will be less troublesome. So if we move time on, these fields are also looking okay. So that's being watered. So they've got about 20 days left. That's probably got a little bit less because that one was planted first. So that's probably got a little bit less. So we're watering that field because the humidity is coming down. So we want the crop quality to go back up if we give it some water. So yeah, this is all looking, it's all looking good. Yeah, and they're going to get me some more apples out of here. I'm fairly certain I did that. Contract failed. Okay. Yeah, one of those things failed. Right, I want to create another field. Uh, because I do want another field to put some stuff in for next year. But also, ooh, produce nine cows milk. Oh, hooray. I, do you know what? I didn't even know that was a thing. 9,200. <laughs> my goodness me. Well, that might have just paid for my field. Because I'm going to build another really big field. I want another massive field. As big as we can get it. 50 by 50. Bosh. Do that. And that should then tick off one of the other things. Oh, no. Did that fail one of those things? Oh, maybe I'd missed the deadline for that. But whatever. So that nine grand whatever it was just paid for that and then i'm torn between putting another greenhouse in just here or, or putting a big orchard in because the orchards were very very profitable that those apples saved this farm pretty much those apples were were crucial in keeping this thing alive but i'm tempted to put another greenhouse in and then another orchard just here next to the road so let's do that shall we so that's five grand for the greenhouse and then a bit for the orchard. And then we've also got to seed the orchard as well. Hmm, okay. Okay, is this going to be a bit expensive? This could be expensive. This could be a terrible mistake. This could be a terrible disaster. But okay, let's go for it anyway. Hey, terrible disasters, ahoy. Right, tree falls down. Magic walls appear. Splendid. And then let's zone out the rest of this as a field. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to put a path going through there. Just because it'll be really annoying for people to have to go all the way around. <laughs> A path might be quite good. Or do I need a path, actually? I go up there or around there. Do you know what? No, I don't need a path, actually. I, I, I don't need one. Forget that. Scrap that idea. So, yeah, let's do that, look. And then that uh, costs 3,120. So, that's good. And then we can plant stuff in there eventually. So, the big thing now is these. 13 days and 20 days. Plus, these are going to be ready imminently. These are going to be ready pretty much now. Right. What are the prices? 
of apples. Sell apples. They're very high. Let's sell them now. I've got 1,493. We have 0.92 units. Don't know. Someone's been eating an apple as I go round. That's fine. Yeah, so if we sell all those apples... Lovely money is coming in. Yeah, and that pays for some stuff. Okay, that's good. Pumpkin prices are creeping up. Tiny bit of creeping up. We do have until the 30th of the 9th to sell our pumpkins. So we've got a little while to sell the pumpkins. Uh, milk and then honey lasts for absolutely ages. Honey lasts for an absolute age. So that's fine. So we can sell the honey when it gets a bit more profitable, when it's back at the sort of 17 range. But yeah, cow's milk. Oh yeah, we'll get rid of that now. It's only 83, but whatever. It's better than a kick in the head. Uh, okay, yes, I know this is ready. No, that's a greenhouse being built. This greenhouse. Yep, let's get the people that are good at crop stuff. You, you, and you, you there. And let's get you to go and get those tomatoes out. Splendid. Okay, so that's good. More tomatoes coming out, which will mean more monies. We're getting some more apples out of that orchard that I'm fairly confident that we got apples out of before. I'm fairly sure that we did that before. Please correct me if I am wrong. But I'm, I think we did do that. And um, yeah, and then this new field here, which we do need to sort out. We do need to plough. Now, can we plough with machines? No, now see, that isn't big enough to plough with machines. I would have said it probably is. I mean, it's what? Quarter of the size of one of those? 24 by 26. And I wonder if it has to be like 25 by 20 something to make it, you know, machine workable or something. I don't know. So yeah, that's a that's a little bit irritating, but never mind, so we'll have to get people on that by hand. We'll get the orchard people on it once they've worked on this, because they're nearly done, look. Oh, in fact, they will be done very shortly, because that bar is just ticked up to the top. Ah, and splendid, it's raining. Now, I was just looking at the soil humidity of this field, but yes, I thought, it's coming down a bit, it's not too bad at the minute, but rain would be useful, and now it's raining. Now, weird enough, I have just watered that field. I've just watered this lupine field. I wonder if because... It's at its very late growing state. Was that lightning? Wow. Hang on, let's go to the ground. Let's go to the ground and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, it's proper miserable. It's proper miserable. Yeah, we, we are in Britain right now. There we go. It's a British farm all of a sudden. It's a British farm. Yep, yeah, lightning, rain, mist over there. General, just a haze of just terrible weatherness. Okay, there we go. And the sun comes up. Yeah, this isn't Britain. Yeah, we don't we don't get that. Right, cost optimization one is done. That was a good roll of thunder there. Wow. Okay, yeah, and the storm has indeed passed. Right, pause. Uh, training. Now, what did I just get? What did I just get? Something optimization or something. Oh, was it the um the wages one? I think it might have been the wet not the wages the the bills one, the cheaper bills. I suspect it might have been. So, what would be a good thing to get now? Given that we haven't got loads of money, is there anything for two thousand that we could just tick off the list. Increases the speed of strength regeneration for seasonal workers. No. Increases the speed of strength regeneration for permanent employees. Okay, that's 4,000. That's more expensive than I would like, but it's probably the cheapest one we've got. Reduces the price of buildings by 10%. Yeah, that could be useful. That could be useful. I don't know if it is. 5% uh, cheaper workers is good for one and a half grand, but I'm not going to be looking for workers anytime soon. Not right now, anyway. Uh, and get loans. Where was the thing where I could get a, a grant? The chance of me getting a grant goes up. Five grand, though, only to increase the chance of getting something. Yeah, okay, let's do this one. Just in case we suddenly need a loan, let's get ourselves access to loans up to 200,000. Splendid, there we go. And now let's see if we can offset the cost of that. If we move time on again. By actually selling some of our stuff because we've got quite a lot of stuff now to sell pumpkin prices are going back up which is splendid apple prices are kind of there or thereabouts let's sell all the apples quick um tomato prices are high sell the tomatoes uh milk we should have some milk somewhere around yep that'll do 524 splendid okay this is good honey is yeah, still a bit lower than i would like to sell it for but yeah pumpkin prices have crept up so we get 1,355 for all those pumpkins. Do I just sell them now or do I hold on to them? We've got a couple of months left with them. So that could raise up again to say up there. So, you know, 2.3 or whatever that is just there. I think I'm going to I'm gonna risk it. I'm going to hold on to the pumpkins and get rid of them later. Get rid of them a bit later on. Right, have all the orchard people finished doing their thing? Yes. Right, can we do this field really quick? Do you reckon we could do this really quick? Uh, right, orchard people, orchard people... Or, oh, you're, you're not an orchard person. Clear you. Uh, you're an orchard person. 
Uh, and you're a strong person. There we go. You'll do. Right, and yeah, go and plough that field, please. By hand. Have fun. What's going on here? Four days left. Four days left until the lupine. And then that might actually give us a big bump of profit. Because that is a big field. That is a big old field full of stuff right there. So, uh, yes. We could certainly... Oh, no. We're bound to pay people. Damn you people and your wages. Ugh. Uh, okay. Are any cows going to drop dead? Any cows going to die? Not in there. Not in there. Not in there just yet. Okay. We could do with the, 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 the cow inseminator person coming back and doing some stuff. But, okay. Yes, that's nearly ready. There's only two days left, and you can tell, yes, it's going this sort of nice yellow colour. So it starts off as little green plants, and then goes into this sort of sort of really lovely kind of calming purple colour. And then as it ripens, and I assume becomes ready to, to do whatever you do with lupine, I don't know, it turns into this sort of nice yellowy colour, which is lovely. It looks a bit like wheat, in fact, if I'm completely honest. But that's really nice. Look at that. And that'll be ready. Imminently, that'll be ready. Let's just check on our other things. Pumpkins taking uh, ages, yeah, not about that. Tomatoes are almost done. They're also working on those tomatoes as well. Uh, okay, right, so we might have a tomatoes issue. That's fine. And now, look, this is ready. This is ready. Right, okay, this is the big thing. So let's harvest this. Let's go to machines. Autofill, yeah. So we've got the combine, driven by Delphine, with the Reaper. The Reaper. You, sh you shouldn't fear the Reaper. Uh, unless you're serious, in which case you should, because it's going to come and chop off your head. And then a Riga tractor, which is the uh, one of our... I assume that it picks the best condition tractor, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. I think it stays still. Janine drives that with the box trailer, into which we will pour all of the stuff. Yes. Go forth. Go forth and do the stuff, please. And you shall be glorious in doing so, because you shall make us the monies. Now, again... They're stuck here. This this is weird. This 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 orchard is causing me some issues. These people are trapped. They are trapped working in this orchard that doesn't have anything in it, I don't think, now. So let's interrupt their work. Yes, I want to interrupt harvesting. I think it's finished. Yeah, look, they always seem to leave one one tree behind. There are certainly apples upon that tree. You've had plenty of time to sort that out, so I don't quite know what your problem is. Okay. The vehicles are coming out. The vehicle. They're breaking out the vehicles. They're breaking out the big vehicles. This is jolly exciting. Okay, they're working on that field, ploughing it by hand. I, I, sorry, sorry, folks. I am genuinely very sorry. That is a rubbish job. That is a rubbish job. So yeah, you could be there for a long time ploughing that by hand. But whatever. There you go. You're getting paid. It's fine. So ploughing that. And now look, it's doing its thing. Yes, it's doing its thing. And it is working brilliantly. And look at it. Look how quick it is. It's just chomping everything up. Weird enough, it goes through the scarecrow. I don't know how. Special scarecrow technology. That's fine. I researched that earlier. And it will be filling this up with lupine seeds, I assume it is. Lupine seeds, I guess. And this thing drives over to here. Now, I would have thought that the tractor would drive over to the combine, but whatever. And then, yeah, normally that arm would come out, I think, and, and pour stuff into there. But uh, no, it didn't do that this time. But there we go. So now that is going to have stuff in it. It's very exciting. Very exciting times. Right, and you come out. How long has this got left? Two days. Oh, we might be okay. We might be okay to get this done in the time frame. There we go. You guys come out and work on that. Okay. So that'll be ready to harvest soon. Are they still trapped there? No. Okay, so they're still harvesting it apparently. But whatever. That's now ready. Now how near are you to doing that? Okay, those tomatoes are nearly ready. Uh, yeah, we need to we need to sort that other greenhouse out as well if we want to get tomatoes and that. But this field is taking quite a long time for them to sort out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up and do this field because this one also needs doing. And you need to go really quickly, please. Because otherwise the, the uh, quality of the crops here will just deteriorate to such a point where no one will want them. Uh, right, okay. And you will go and pour this into a silo, I assume. Training and banking is done. And... There is now 8,399 lupine things in there, which is beautiful. Right, okay, autofill. Do exactly the same on there, please. Exactly the same. It worked. Worked a charm before. Let's do it again. Yay, and Mr. Inseminator can come back and carry out his unglamorous work over there to get us some more cow, so that's good. Okay, while they all do that, I'm just going to check out whether we can sell things for a lot or not. Right, pumpkin. Pumpkin prices are absolutely soaring. Sell them now. Sell them now. I mean, it's only getting one and a half grand. We did sell a few of them just to top up our finances previously, didn't we? But yeah, one and a half grand for all the pumpkins. The pumpkins have gone. Tomato prices are very high. I'm going to sell them now because we're going to get more tomatoes from this one we're doing now anyway. 
and the other tomatoes from the other greenhouse. So we'll sell those now. Get rid of all those. Now the lupine is interesting. We could sell that for 5,332. It doesn't seem very much, does it? All the effort we go to to grow it and chop it and all the machinery we have. Right, sell all the milk. That's fine. Right, honey. Is honey going up? My honey prices are completely tanking. Right, okay. We won't sell the honey just yet then. Keep an eye on that. Right, inseminator, to come in and give us some cows, please. All the cows are still looking uh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's good news. Right. So 108 tomatoes, 611 honey. They're working on tomatoes in there. That's growing pumpkins. That needs some work, but they're doing this field at the moment. So we can get that in and get the orchard in before the new year, I think. Before the new year starts, and that will grow next year. So three little orchards, which is splendid. And then, yeah, let's see. The, so the lupine might make more money, possibly. So that's it. They've done now with that, I think. They are now done with the lupine. So they'll go and put this lupine whatever it is, seeds, into here. So they're taking the rye out. I think they're taking the rye out to feed the animals. That's fine. Yeah, you fill your boots, have that. Right, okay, they finished with the tomatoes. Also, that is now empty. So 17,500 kilograms of lupine. That seems like quite a lot to me. That seems like an awful lot. All right, those tomatoes are growing. Now, people need to go into here and work on this. So yeah, we'll have you three. Accept. Good. They've needed in that field. That is still being harvested. I don't quite know what's going on there. There's something a little bit weird going on in that in that orchard. A little bit buggy in there. Don't go in there. There's bugs. Okay, so now they've done this. So they go back to their houses and what have you. Now we need to do this stuff, don't we? We need to do all the balings. We can bale it up. So, yeah, let's do that. The tractor, the press, Delphine. Now, is that the best? Is that the best tractor? Hang on. Hang on. Click. Don't do that. Go into here machines right so let's pick yeah that tractor the round press and whoever let's pick delphine and let's pick janine because she earns more money so she can do more work there you go right you go and do that splendid right go and bail that up that gives us some straw that's all lovely and good okay so we've got quite a lot of lupine stuff 17,388.06 kilograms in fact so uh yeah what can we do with it then so on the market let's check that we've made the right decision to start with so We've got ourselves lupine, which is the green one, which is actually selling quite well right now. Or we've got wheat, which sells for half, I would say. What's that? 0 0.65, 0 0.309. So yeah, possibly even less than half. So lupine, I think, is the way to go. The only thing is you can't make lupine flour, I don't believe. You can make rye flour, uh, which sells for okay amounts. Let's take that off. Corn flour sells for an awful lot. What does wheat flour sell for? Just checking, just checking. Wheat flour sells for 2.034. So corn flour. Yeah, okay, so wheat flour is the most. But lupine is good to sell. Now, do I sell it right now? Because the prices are going up, up, up. Do I sell all the stuff that I've just got right now and get myself not actually that much money, if I'm completely honest? Not very much money at all. I mean, it seems to me that orchards are the way to go. <laughs> Orchards and green, like fruit and veg. No one really cares for the wheat stuff unless, unless I take a gamble, take out the um, investment, the 200 grand for the loan, and then build ourselves, uh, where is it, production? One of those. Build ourselves a mill. Allows the processing of grain into flour so I could grow wheat, get the wheat into the mill, and then do all the bump in here that's required to increase the production of the mills. And there's one in here, increasing the production rate of things. Uh, no, that's storage capacity. I swear there's one somewhere. There's one somewhere. Increases the rate of production by 10%. So, you know, if I do that two times, maybe I'll get an extra 25% or whatever out of the mill because the mill is slow. I think people have said that the mill is good. It's, it makes money eventually, but it's quite slow. So, yeah, I don't know where to do that because this just isn't this isn't doing it. I'd need a massive farm. I'd need a gigantic farm. Yeah, price have come down a tiny bit. So I could get eleven thousand. That pays for um, that pays for the workers for about a month and a half. All that work for all that. Uh but I can't I can't do anything else with it. So yeah. Shall we sell it? I don't do anything else with it. Yes, just just sell it, just get rid of it. There we go. So at least we've got thirty one grand. Okay, that seems very undramatic. It seems very undramatic. I think I might have to go down the mill route, possibly. Uh, let's sell everything else we've got while we're here. Well, not everything, but some of the stuff. 
Um, honey, has honey prices gone up yet? Ooh, a tiny bit, but not as much as they were. Tomato prices are still nice and high. Let's sell the tomatoes whilst we're there. And yeah, the bride can stay there because they're using it for food. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for now. Until they've finished harvesting all those tomatoes. They're still growing. They're still growing. That needs work. Ah, actually, what we could do is... Oh, no, they're still plowing this field. Technically, they're still plowing the field. Okay, when that finishes, I think we can go put the apples on it. Plant some more apple trees, because that'll be good. I want to get that in before the next year. So next year, in 2020, we actually get ourselves another crop of apples, because apples seem to be very profitable indeed. Do you know what? This is quite lovely. So I can just sit here, from up here, up in the, up in the clouds, and look down on my domain... You're going around collecting all the hay bales on your little tractor trailer thing. And it looks lovely. Look, they're just driving along. They put them into the barn. You're going through creating the bales. You're whatever you're doing to this field. You're cultivating this field to make the soil nice. You guys are going through and doing tomato work. It's all lovely. Those guys are looking after the bees. The cows are just out roaming around. It's all very lovely. <laughs> it's very nice. I do like this. I like this quite a lot. There we go. So you finished doing that. So the last thing we can do... I would say is go and get this and do this with it. There we go. Bosh. Splendid. Now, one thing I'm not sure of is, do I plow this now or do I just leave that until next year? Because that's going to die. Over the winter, This all this will die because they've had their heads chopped off. So all it is is stalks now, isn't it? Little stalks in the ground, dead stalks. Do I do, I do that before winter? Do I plow it before winter? Or do I just leave winter to kill them all and they just rot into the ground? And then I just do this afterwards? I think I leave it. Because I did this before. I, I, I ploughed it before. Oh, I failed one of the silly things. Never mind. Uh, I ploughed it before. And winter came and sort of unploughed it for me. Which is fine. But yeah, I don't know whether I need... I don't know where I need to. Am I supposed to? Because now, look, it's just sort of dead. It's just dead, headless crops. And then a scarecrow in the middle of it. Oh, and I clicked on a well. So, did I click on that all the way over there? Oh, go me. Well done. Can I click on a cow? Oh, I can't click on an actual cow. Can I name the cows? I'd love to name the cows. There you go. Developers, can we name the cows, please? That would be splendid. Thank you. Um, I also noticed that, for whatever reason, I always look at it from this angle. I just thought that earlier. I thought, oh, I'm looking at it from that angle again. Whereas, what, what's wrong with this angle? What's wrong with that? I can see more of it there. I can see the whole thing. Whereas here, if I look at it like that, I miss out the bottom bits here. But no, I, I always go to the other angle for whatever reason. I don't know why. Uh, okay, right. Well, it's raining. That won't help anybody. <laughs> That'll annoy the people working out in this field, but never mind. Sorry, people in the field. Uh, I think, in terms of the tractors and stuff, I think that's it. I don't think we need to to do anything else. So let's just check our farm equipment. Let's see if anything needs repairing. I don't think it does. Anything needs kind of repairing. The tractors might well need repairing. None of those things will. That's absolutely fine. That one? No, can't repair that. So yeah, the tractors might need some repairing. Oh, oh no, renovating. That's it, yes. So let's get you in. Let's renovate that tractor. And that tractor uh, allegedly does not need renovating. I would like to renovate it, if I'm completely honest. I would like to renovate the tractor over the winter up to as much as I can get it. But no, it's not letting me. Okay, fine. So yeah, the tractor's done their job for this year. Then they've done the two fields worth of work. Which doesn't seem like very much, if I'm completely honest. Does not seem very much at all. Okay, tomatoes. Prices are high. Sell. Sell, 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 sell. Honey? Honey prices are going up. Yes, beautiful. Cow's milk. Goodness, we have a lot of that. 2,000 selling the cow's milk. Yes, beautiful. And that, do you know what? Let's sell 800 of that. Let's get ourselves 149 quid out of that. And straw. I don't think we need that much straw. Let's sell 4,000 straw for 698. So that's no bad thing. Okay. Okay, so we've made some money, and the honey is going back up. So if I sold all that honey right now, 12 grand. 12 grand from just bees. From bees. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it, see if it can go a tiny bit higher. I mean, obviously it's peaked here once upon a time. So, um, yeah, I'll see if that goes a bit higher. So the big question is, the big question is, do I go down the route of getting a mill? So next year, have three wheat fields... Maybe a grass field. Yeah, and that's the thing is, I would like grass, because you can use grass. Grass sold okay as well, but you can use it to put into here, into the silage thing. I mean, we could put straw in at the minute, because we are making silage. I'm fairly confident that we are... Yeah, look, there's even, it's in there. I don't really know what silage is, I'll be completely honest. But it sounds unpleasant. It sounds like a horrible thing that you wouldn't want to work with. It looks like a load of stuff, a load of like old farm stuff, 
maybe even uh, grass, crops and straw, that you've just left to go all mouldy, possibly. Okay, a bet has come up. Breed 10 cows before the 19th of January next year to win 9,800. I don't know if that is actually going to happen. I'm not entirely sure that's plausible, but okay. Right, well, we need to now fertilise this field because we need to get the plants in. We need to get the, um, the trees in. Because otherwise, if winter appears and we haven't got the, uh, the actual plants into this field, then it'll just freeze over and then we'll have to plough it all again. It'll take ages and it'll undo all the work we've done so far. So we've only just entered autumn. So we've ent the summer has gone. Summer has indeed gone. The summer of 2019 has faded away. But now we've got autumn or fall, of course, depending on where you are. Uh, yeah, I would call it autumn, but fall, whatever. Uh, the one before winter. The one between summer and before winter. That's what they should call it. Uh, is coming along so yeah we need to get this done before winter arrives or else yeah we'll have a we'll have a problem next year we'll have to do it all again and then the apples won't be ready so they'll be ready for 2021 i think is how that'd work and that's just a bit tedious so uh, yeah let's get them fertilizing this field we've got pretty much everyone on it now the two people that normally drive the tractor now don't have to drive the tractors because the tractors aren't required for anything so they can then chip in. They can do some work for a change. They <laughs> sit in the tractor just looking cool and going, yeah, I get to drive the farm toys. Yeah, you lot. Now you actually have to do some proper hands-on work with manure as well. Not even pleasant. You have to have big buckets of manure and go and spill it around a field. So that's pleasant. Get them in. Plant the apple trees. Sorted. Right, okay. So they've harvested lots of tomatoes and someone is looking for Zach Malinowski. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's click into here. Uh, staff list. Zach, Zach, there you are. You're working in the cow shed. Deliver the package. Give us how. Give us our vast quantities of cash. Are we ready, everyone? Let's all go. Let's all get ready to go on a big holiday. Two hundred. You know what? That's actually more than you normally get for these sort of things. That is more than you'd normally get. So that's quite nice, actually. Right? Have they finished fertilising this field? Nearly. Is there anyone left to do harvesting here? Yes, the three people that you want to harvest things are there. Splendid. Right, okay, you go get the tomatoes. Now, the pumpkins will also be ready, which is a shame, because I would like those people to be also getting the pumpkins. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We can't leave the pumpkins too long, because then they'll go all horrible and grotty and grim. So, yeah, now we're really pushed for time with everything. We're pushed for time with all the different bits and bobs we want to do up here. So the fields are long forgotten. Forget the fields. Forget the lupine. Pah, whatever. That's, that's old hat, the lupine stuff. It's this. This is the big deal now. So we need to get this field done. Fertilise this field. They must have finished that by now. Come on. That's finished. Yes. Splendid. Right, okay. And now we've got the pumpkins to get out the ground. Now it's a shame that, yeah, these people are all in here getting the tomatoes out. Because they've got the this little plant type icony skill thing. Which means that they get bigger harvests out of it. And the pumpkins obviously are going to make more money. It's particularly the time of year that it is. But we've got to get them out of the ground. So let's just auto-fill that. Oh no, Evelyn Samet. I thought I'd put her in here. I thought Evelyn was working in there. Is she not in there? Oh, that's very confusing. <laughs> she's she's working in both. Okay, that's fine. Auto-fill. Yeah, just do that. That, that'll that be, yeah, awesome. Just go for it. Yay, go for it, please. Does she now come out of here? Or is she doing both? My animals are ready for breeding. Right, okay, this might help with, the, um, might help with that quest up here. Contract failed, whatever. Right, call the inseminator. Splendid, that's good. So yeah, each one's got four cows in. Now, I did go through and sell a few because I thought, do you know what? We can sell a few. No milk is coming out anymore. I'm not getting any milk. Don't know why. Oh, there we go. Maybe they're just storing it until a certain limit was reached. Okay, right. Let's put time as slow. Clear that notification. And let's check what we can sell things for. Right, tomatoes are selling for very high. So let's do that now. Let's sell all those tomatoes. We've got some pumpkins. Now, they're selling very well. I'm tempted to just sell them now because I think this is probably going to be where they peak. This is probably going to be where they peak. So as the pumpkins come in, I'm going to sell them. Honey prices, yeah, okay, fine. I should have kept my eye on that a bit more. Milk is expensive, though. That's good. We'll have that. We'll get that. So yeah, honey went up and has then come straight back down again, which is a shame. So I could get 14,800 for that, which would be pretty flipping amazing. But I could get more. If I leave that to go up to there, what could that be? 16 grand if I get it all the way up to there? Because I've got 911 units of it and it's still going. It's going to still going for, be going for a little while, I think. So, yeah. So we've got money coming in from what? Those tomatoes and the pumpkins. Okay, this is good. This is good. I think I was talking about my plans, wasn't I? And then I got distracted by, I don't know, a bird or, I don't know, a piece of fluff or some tea or something. A bird, look. Hello, bird. You can land on the field. 
Yeah, yeah, we can land on the field. Oh, I need some scarecrows in there. I need some scarecrows. I need hello scarecrows, please. Yes. Uh one there and one kind of over there will do the job. Splendid. Yay. Are you not scared? bird? Woo, scarecrow in your face. There's a scarecrow right here. Look out. It's going to get you. There you go. Bye-bye, bird. Splendid. Uh what was I talking about? Our plans. Yes. <laughs> I said I was going to get this by a bird and I really did. Um yeah, I think what we might do is next time out, we won't do it now. I think we'll do it next time. I think we might take out a loan. I think we might take out a loan. Now we can't take out the big loans. We can't take out these massive loans. It would be nice to take out what's that? A million? Take out a million in four chain installments at a rate of five percent. Now obviously the, the more you borrow, the less the rate seems to be that you pay back, which makes sense. You pay it over a longer time as well. So yeah, it might be quite nice. I mean that's not so bad. Two hundred grand. You pay over 24 installments, so two years, and you pay back 10%. So you pay back an extra, I don't know what that is, 20,000. Oh, yeah, okay, that's 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 quite a lot. No, 2,000. Is 2,000 10% of 200,000? No, it's 20,000. Yeah, that's quite expensive. So you'd have to be making an awful lot of money to, to offset the loan. But I would use the loan money to build a mill, probably. I would build a mill. Or upgrade our little building. Because the one thing we've not been able to do at all is upgrade our little house. <laughs> Which is, it's a bit frustrating really because that's what we need to do. We need to do this and it's 400 grand. $400,000 to upgrade this. To make it a big thing. Look, you get a bigger house. Which means you can have the auto trading on and the fields can be bigger. You can buy more land. It's got all the features of the current one. But yeah, I, we can't we can't do that because we haven't got enough money. We've we've got ten percent of that money, which is a bit rubbish, isn't it? Let's have a look at what else there is. Scenarios. Oh, okay, no, I don't do that. Right, these are additional missions. Uh, I'm never going to collect twelve rye before the nine eleven. Yeah, okay, so the 9th of November because that's just not going to happen. That's not going to happen because I don't grow rye, so I can't do that. So we'll get rid of that one out of the list. This one we might do though. We might be able to breed 10 cows, possibly, if we can keep that run going. We might be all right with that one. So we'll keep that open. Okay, so yeah, we might want to build a mill. But then again, it, it depends on how profitable the mill is. Now in here, can we in, can we increase that? Can we increase the, uh, the amount of money we could loan? Cheaper workers. Gives access to loans up, up over $250,000. Yeah, so that might be quite useful. But also, I quite like the idea of this. Increases the likelihood of receiving a grant by 5%. It costs $5,000, though. But a grant would be very, very lovely indeed. So, all that increases the minimum price of products and crops by 20%. Ooh, that's quite good. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. So, even at our lowest, we'll get an extra 20% for them. Yeah, okay, let's go for that. Let's do sales training too. It's a bit of an investment. But yeah, let's go for that. Now, let's see. So that's going to take, what, 14 days. What can I keep for 14 days? Ooh. Oh, not those. That's unfortunate. I can't keep the tomatoes. Let's sell the tomatoes. Pumpkins. Pumpkins are selling well. Let's sell the pumpkins. Honey. Ah, I should have sold it when it was a bit higher. It's tanked again. Uh, sell the milk. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, the honey is... Yeah, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? So maybe around this time, people don't want honey. Summertime. Summer is when they want honey. 14,000. I mean, it's going to last until 2021, so it's fine. We could keep it until next year, make, get a bump of profit off it. I was just hoping to get paid for it now, but never mind. I just realised I need to actually get the seeds in here, don't I? I need to actually plant the apple trees. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, let's buy 14 ewes of apple tree. I possibly need to do that very, very soon, because I completely forgot. I've done all the work on it. I've fertilised it, and there's no crops in there. So yeah, let's get these in really quickly, please. Have they arrived yet? Choose... Uh, apple tree's not yet. Let's look for the truck appearing. I think that's probably it. And I bet it's there now. Right, choose. Uh, apple trees, yes. Uh, all the people that you can. Everybody. Get everybody in to plant trees. Yes, please. And it's raining as well, which will help quite a bit, I suppose, and the humidity for the soil. So that's good. Right, everybody. Everybody. Go, squad. Go, apple tree squad. And plant the apple trees. Commence apple tree plantations. There's not that many of them, to be fair. Won't take that long, I don't think. Is that it? 
There you go, sorted. Right, and then some of you can work in here as well. Let's put the uh, irrigation system in. I like the way the crop quality is going up, even though there is no crop in there. Yay! Yay for imaginary crops. Right, let's get these in then. Let's autofill this with... Uh, our... Oh, everyone's tired. Okay, you, uh, tractory, and uh, you. You just there. Yes, accept that. Right, go and work on this greenhouse then, please. I think everything else is done. So the pumpkins are done, so we need to obviously clear the pumpkins down again. So they don't regrow. The tomatoes are regrowing. They are growing. It, it it's it's going okay. It's going okay. So let's just get maybe let's just get to winter again. Let's just speed it through. Get to winter. Let's get that training done. So we can get this training done. It'd be quite nice. Yeah, there we go. So it's gonna finish that very shortly indeed. Let's just get that done. End time you like. Bosh. Right, okay, so the minimum price that we can now sell things for is 20% higher, which is good. Now, what about the maximum price? I think the minimum price is probably more important. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to go for this. The likelihood of receiving a grant by 5%. Now, it's five grants, so it's quite a big outlay. But if we get given a grant of, say, I don't know, even if we get $30,000 or something, that would help an awful lot. Right, let's just do some more selling of things. So let's check pumpkin prices. Yeah, they're quite high, 2200 that'll do. Tomato prices are up. Five, so those tomatoes... I just paid for that training. So that's good. Uh, and the milk is good. And honey prices are, yeah, not as good as they could be, unfortunately. But never mind. Do you know what? Shall I just sell the honey now and start again later on? No, I'm going to keep it. It doesn't go off for ages. So there's no reason. I'm just selling it just to get it out of the list up in the corner. But uh, no, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so that training did finish. So the training is done. So now we might potentially, possibly get ourselves a grant. Now, I don't know how that happens. I just assume it's a little thing that pops up and says, Hey, you've been given a grant of whatever, thousand dollars or whatever. I don't know. So yeah, that I, I quite want that to, I quite want one of those. <laughs> That'd be very nice. Another thing I'm going to invest in in the long run is this. Reducing bills by 7%. It's 4,000, which again is a fairly pricey thing considering we're going into winter but i think we've got enough to keep us going through the winter and i think if we can reduce our bills even more that's a good thing so let's reduce the bills by seven percent shall we so let's get that done get that out of the way and that obviously reduces the overall running cost of the farm ah look so the lupine fields are indeed going all brown because they have died so it's all died but that's fine so in the new year, when winter is finished, we will be able to uh, plough it and cultivate it and start again. So the big consideration then is going to be, do I want to go down the route of a mill? So take out a loan, get a mill, because I need to build the mill, and then I need to build a silo, possibly next to it. And as I put the mill over here, ooh, ready for breeding, splendid. Yes, please come in, Mr. Inseminator Man. Um, I mean, I could put the mill down here, and then the employees for it could go in here, because only two of them in there. And then when they've done their job, they can go and put it in the silo. Because that's where that's where they put the um, the flower in the end. They put it into a silo. Oh, beautiful. Hang on. Didn't we already call him? Oh, no. It's another one. It's the other one. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Rock on. Yes. Good job. But that needs some water. Even though it's raining quite heavily. The soil humidity is going down. Even though it's pouring with rain. Which does not really make any sense. But okay. Right. Hopefully they're finished doing that. They're still harvesting. I don't know if there's a problem with... Oh, and the game lagged a little bit there. I don't know if there's a problem with harvesting. They don't ever seem to finish harvesting, or certainly not very readily. Look, they're still sort of counting as though it's harvesting, and we need to get in here, because these tomatoes are now ready to come out. But, for whatever reason, it's not sort of letting us do it. Oh, no. Now, did I have some tomatoes that I just let go off? I don't know. Right, pause. Pause. Space is supposed to pause. Uh, milk. We'll certainly sell the milk. That'll do. Get rid of that. Uh, the honey has... Oh! Oh, yes. Sell it now. Sell the honey. 16.50. Yes. Sell the honey right now. That is mega profits. Oh, this is that's lovely. That'll keep us going for a couple of months. That'll pay us until February, probably, all that honey. So, yeah. Sell that. Boom. Beautiful. Okay, that's good. That's good going. That was a good, that was a good deal. So, yeah, that's what we need to consider next time, then. Do we get a mill? Do we get a mill? Drop a mill somewhere along here or build a road and put it down here possibly with another road coming behind it or something. I don't know. Get a mill and then the workers can work in the mill so they can get wheat. So if you build three wheat fields, they'll have loads of wheat to work on and turn that into wheat flour, which is more profitable. And then concentrate on doing this. So upgrade this bit here, which 
is not obvious. I don't really like that flickery thing there. The rate of production there. And there's a 2 and a 3 as well. So I imagine it'll probably go to 20 and 30% or whatever. So we could increase the rate of production in the mill, which would be useful. So yeah, I think I don't know. I think we might go and do that. Let's um let's water this field whilst we're here because uh, that's a bad thing. You have no well or pump. Build one to have access to water. I, there's a well just there. It's not that far away. I guess I could build a well over there, couldn't I? So there's, there's room for it. Uh, a well, a thousand. Uh, let's put it there. That'll do. Bosh. Right. Okay. Now can we water the thing? Uh, I want you. I want orchard people. You. Oh, and the, and the and the the drivers as well. <laughs> you can do it as well. Like that. There you go. You lot can go and water that field so the crops don't all completely die. Yeah, look, you're still doing this. You're still harvesting these tomatoes, even though I'm fairly certain all those tomatoes are gone. I'm fairly certain there are no tomatoes left in there. And I need you to start working on this, please. So could you get on with it in here? Yeah, there's something weird going on there, isn't there? That's a, that's a little... That's a bug going on right there because it seems to think they're now in two places at once. Yeah, look, they're, they're going into there. So they're not here anymore. So let's interrupt their work just there. Because that clearly isn't correct. They are not in here doing any of this. So now it says harvesting. And that says harvesting a perennial plant. And okay, right, yeah, there's, there's bugs. There are bugs ahoy with the harvesting going on at the minute. I don't quite know how to how to counter that. But it's coming up to winter. So I think that's a good point to leave it there. So yeah, we've done a full year. We've done a... Well, we've not done the winter bit. We've done uh, spring... Summer and then fall slash autumn, depending on where you are in the world. But that's good. That's good going. And I don't think we're any better off or worse off than we were. We might be a tiny bit better off, actually, thinking about it. Because we've got 42 just about grand before the winter, which is good. Because last time we didn't have that much beforehand, I don't think. We didn't have that much before. And we've got all these things ready to now, obviously, get the, get the sort of fruit out of. Also, we need to do this. We need to sort these out because this has been cultivated, but it's not actually been um, not been fertilised yet. Have we got any people that could help with that? Yeah, you two. Yeah, go on. Yeah, you do that, please. And choose the manure. And yeah, do that. You can fertilise the uh, greenhouse in there while nothing else is going on. But I think we're going to call it a day for now. I think that's gone very well. So next time out, another winter. Another winter. But I think I'm more confident that we'll succeed with the next winter. And then, yes, it might be... It might be a good time to take a little bit of a gamble and go for a mill. Take out a loan, go for a mill, see if that works. I mean, it might not. It might go horribly wrong. But yeah, it's very hard. It's very hard to make money. It's not the easiest of things to make money. This orchard will help and the extra greenhouse will help. That'll help with the monies. Uh, but yeah, it's not as straightforward to make money. So the last thing we'll do, let's just sell some stuff. So tomatoes are high. Seven and a half grand from the tomatoes. Why did it just change? That was weird. Uh, so, yeah, sell the tomatoes quick. That'll pay for another month of wages almost. Sell all that milk. That's lovely. For some reason, we have two lots of manure. Not entirely sure why there's two lots. Are they splitting it into two different silos now? Oh, okay, right, fine. Straw, whatever. Not really worth selling. Pumpkin seeds. Uh, why have we got a load of pumpkin seeds? Why have we got a load of them? Is that what we're going to put in here? And they never got round to it or here harvested crops yeah we need to sort that one out because they got the pumpkins out so we do need to work on that but why have we got a load of pumpkin seeds did i order them and not plant them or something stupid okay well there we go we've got some pumpkin seeds as well to put into one of these greenhouses and winter has started and perfect we can leave it there for now so it'll all go pale and gray and like white in a, in a second it'll all go snowy looking and cold and yeah, that's a good point to leave it there. So hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly, I suspect. <laughs> My God, it's Pengu. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have to put the engine bit. I feel that might be a problem in making a car. I've broken the windscreen. It's, en it's ending badly. It's ending very badly indeed. I might crash into a tree. How do I do any of the stuff with this car?